Taurus and welcome to your tarot love reading for um, the one that got away. So we're going to take a look at the energies and the um, and the messages that are coming through for you here. So what is it that you know he or she may be feeling about you, about the connection, or just in general as well? Uh, so bear in mind that these are going to be general readings, but I'm sure you're already mindful of that. For those of you that are interested in personal tarot spread with me, please feel free to inquire. I am going to provide my email address for you all just below the video here in the show more section. Along with all the information you will need, if you find that some of your answers, uh, some of your questions aren't still answered, feel free to just flick me an email and just ask me directly. Um, I also want to mention that I have a Halloween sale for all of you guys. It's um, It will be extended up until the end of October. So for those of you that are interested, go right ahead. Um, and inquire, take advantage of it. So the reading here is intended for Taurus, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. And for those of you that are cross watches as well. Okay, so, oh, we've got a few cards that fell out there. I've only wanted to pull four, but, oh, there we have it. The Tarot has spoken. The Ten of Swords, the Page of Wands, the Two of Wands, but in reverse, the Ten of Cups and the Sun card here. The Ten of Swords here, some of you may have been dealing with an air, um, air sign. Gemini, Libra and Aquarius are uh, strong, strong fire energy as well. Sorry, that background noise just got my attention. Strong fire energy as well. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Uh, and then you've got water energy present, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But the Ten of Swords suggest to me that this person feels relieved that the connection has ended. Okay, they feel, it's almost like they feel relieved. They, they sort of... Um, sigh a um they sort of release a heavy sigh um the connection he was one that was of hardship and of struggle okay and i feel like the breakup wasn't necessarily any easier um it seems as though it seems as what it felt for this person as though like there was no end to this suffering and it felt like the connection here It felt like things ended dramatically between the two of you, hasn't it? It felt like it was, it's almost like this volatile ending here. Dramatically, violently. And what this ending gives, what this ending um, gives this person, and perhaps even yourself, your Taurus, is a sense of freedom. Something that they feel, um, something that they feel they're relishing right now and something that they feel so relieved here. Um... Right now, I feel like this person is single, okay, so your current, uh, your special someone here, if you're currently wondering, you know, what's going on with them, um, or even if you hear, you know, through the grapevine that this person is seeing someone, I don't think it's serious. For me, what I'm seeing is that this person is currently single now, okay? I can see that you felt very let down. You felt, uh, they've let you down here, Taurus. This person has let you down emotionally here. Um... I also feel like this person here has, maybe they were the ones to have betrayed you here. Maybe this person has betrayed your trust. Maybe this is someone who has deceived you. Um, I feel like this person was doing things behind your back. They were saying things or doing things behind your back. This person might have been disloyal to you, unfaithful, dishonest. Um, I feel like they were always, they were always unappreciative of what they had with you, of what they had in you. Okay, and to them, this relationship, this connection that you had with them, it felt more like hard work than anything else. And relationships, sure, they can be hard work, but, you know, there's so much more to it, right? Um, I feel like the time, at that point in time when you guys separated or when this person here, because I feel like they were the ones, I feel like they were the ones, you know, who has... Um, they were the ones who have grabbed, you know, one of these swords here, and they were the ones to have used this weapon to cut ties with you, right? Um, and I feel like that around that moment in time, that was a very, um, that was a very dark moment. That was a very dark place for them. They were in a very dark place, and perhaps it is this dark place that they were in that had driven them to make this decision, okay, to um, yeah, to cut ties with you, because I feel like this person was suffering here it's a, it was a time of darkness 
okay? But they're, they're finding their peace now is what I'm seeing. And this is why I feel like this person, um, you know, with the Page of Wands and the Ten of Swords here, this I feel like, yeah, this person feels a... Um, this is someone who does have a strong, uh, a strong love for freedom. And seeing as this connection is ended, seeing as things have ended between the two of you, I do feel like this is someone who's enjoying his or her uh, maybe recently found freedom or not so recently found freedom. This is someone who I feel like drama always followed them, right? And if the relationship, if the relationship felt hard work, is because I feel like this person was making it hard for you and harder for themselves as well. Yeah, so I feel like this is someone who is a little bit, they sort of create drama wherever they go or drama tends to follow them wherever they go and then they turn around and like, why does this always happen to me? Oh, it's because you're creating the drama. Uh, but anyways, I just feel like right now, this is someone who... They weren't chasing a relationship, okay? And they were never in it for a long time. They were always in it for a good time. And right now, what they're chasing is fun, excitement, and adventure. It's probably better that things ended sooner with this person rather than later because I feel like, you know, the longer it went on, the more emotionally you would have invested. And I feel like the more hurt you would have become. You would have, you know, you would have become. That's not to say that wasn't painful as it is, and it was, but I feel like things could have been much worse had this been prolonged any further. There's something here with the two of wands that tells me I feel like this person is only now starting to realize what they have, what they had with you. I feel like this person is only now starting to realize what they've lost. They're now starting to realize just how much you were invested, just how much you were in this connection and just how much you truly love them. Sometimes it takes someone's absence. It takes your absence for someone to appreciate or even notice your presence therein. So I feel like yes, this person is only it's only coming to them now. They're only trying, they're only piecing together the puzzle now. They could be a late learner. It could be that. But um It's very likely that you still may hear from them here, Taurus. So I feel like some of you may still hear from them because they may come back into your life here to finish what you started. Okay, but I mean, you'll have to use your discernment and you'll have to use your discretion here as to whether or not you want to pursue, pursue this because don't forget, this was the very person that inflicted this pain onto you or that betrayed you or that, you know, was disloyal to you or dishonest with you. Um, if they're capable of doing it once, who's not to say they're not capable of doing it again? I don't know, maybe they are a changed person, or maybe, just maybe, they're not. With the Ten of Cups right now, they, they're, uh, they're enjoying themselves. They're enjoying them, themselves, they're enjoying their newfound freedom. It's sad that this relationship or this connection felt like such a burden to them. It's sad that it felt like such a chore and such hard work and such maintenance to them. Um, because I feel like, had, you know, had they actually given it their best shots or actually given it their best efforts, this truly could have been um, a great connection. But from what I can see, I feel like, yeah, this is someone who's just... Um, they're going out, they're meeting new people. Um, this is someone who's, with the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Swords, I feel like they're keeping their options open, you know. They're keeping their options open, and that's just it here, Taurus. They treated you as an option, when in actuality, you're a priority. So, you know, there you have it. Um, so right now, this is, it's all about just enjoying themselves. It's all about having a good time. For some of you, this is someone who I feel like, um, it's probably, they probably need to settle down, because why am I seeing children and family here? So they're probably at an age where, you know, they're close, uh, fam they're close friends here, friends around them, um, are all settling down and, you know, getting married and having children, but they're out still, you know, they're out there still living, living it up and partying it up, um. I don't know that this person wants to settle down anytime soon, though, is what I'm seeing. I just feel like right now they're just enjoying themselves. Um, they are spending time with family. They are spending time with friends. They're getting out. They're meeting new people, even if it's just like uh, like through online dating or, you know, digital communication here. But this person isn't sitting around and, you know, I don't know that they're doing much thinking about you. Um, they could come back into the picture to finish what... The two of you started, but only after they get all of this out of the system. Okay, only after they get, you know, all this good times that they believe they're so deserving of out of the system here. 
Alright guys, that is your spirit. So as always, thank you for watching and for listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, by liking, commenting, perhaps even sharing. For those of you that are interested in personal tarot readings with me, I just want to remind you of that Halloween sale. Otherwise, take care guys. I'll catch up with you later in the week.